Let's review Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Believe it or not, writing the review for Super Smash Brothers is really hard. Not because I can't find anything to say, but it's just the opposite. There's too much to say in a three minute video. Basically, you're in a floating ring, and if you fall off the edge, you die. And the more damage you take, the easier it is for an opponent to kick or punch you off the ring. The game is amazing, just like all the other versions of Smash Brothers. There's so many things to do, it's almost ridiculous. If you're playing alone, you could do a bunch of challenges, training modes, a single player tournament, or even a very lengthy adventure mode. But Smash Brothers has never been about the single player experience. It's balls to the walls, multiplayer experience. And this version doesn't disappoint. When it comes to multiplayer experience, there's a lot of options to pick from. From tournament, to an all-out brawl with a lot of variety to choose from. Now the options you have to control your characters were fantastic. You could either use the Wiimote alone, the Wiimote with the nunchuck, use the classic controller, or use a GameCube controller to control the action. Now they all have their positives and negatives, but I found the GameCube controller to be the best to use. But the little Wii viewer liked using the Wiimote alone, so I guess it depends on whatever makes you more comfortable. Brawls with other players were a lot of fun, and the amount of variety of the stages you had to choose from were spectacular. The stages ranged from really small to quite large, and I tended to set it on random, so it was always a surprise. If those stages weren't enough, you can also design one of your own, which is what both of my kids loved, mostly due to the ease of building a stage. It was as easy as point and click. The more fights you did, the more you could unlock from the extra music tracks to the different stages or even unlocking new characters to join in the fight. Each character has their own special moves. They are very easy to pull off due to the simple fight controls. Plus they have their own final smash attack which has the power to knock out anyone in its way. You can even go online to take your favorite character onto the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Unfortunately if you really want to have the freedom to do a fun option filled fight you're going to have to know a friend code of one of your buddies. But if you don't care about the rules of the match, and you just want to kick the crap out of some stranger, then Nintendo has the option to just join in a fight. Now depending on the stage, sometimes the fights would have a lot of lag, and that detracted from some of the fun of going online. Super Smash Bros. is worth every penny, and I'm sure most Wii owners will already buy this game, so I really don't have to convince you of that. There really is no better fighting game on the market right now for any platform that is more fun and replayable than Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Buy it now.